I would like to say to the outset, what happened here a year ago, a uh, uh, hundred years ago, was a tragedy and always accepted as so. Prime Minister May in the House of Parliament earlier this week referred to it uh, as a shameful scar on our history. Her predecessor as Prime Minister Mr Cameron referred to it when he visited India as a shameful uh, scar, a deeply shameful scar. Uh, we regret what happened here. My own great-grandfather, who was Prime Minister for almost a decade and stepped down from office in 1916, referred to this as one of the worst outrages in our whole history. But British government didn't and for that. the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, when she visited in 1997, also referred to it as a deeply distressing example of our past history. It has been debated always in Parliament, uh, including this week. The revulsion that we felt at the time is still strong today. Uh, it tarnished the reputation. Uh, and we regret, as I say, the suffering, and will continue to do so, the suffering caused. You might want to rewrite history, as the Queen said, but you can't. And as somebody who has served here for three years, a country I have a deep affection for in India, uh, and my own country, which I obviously love, I would like to rewrite history, but you can't. What you can do, as the Queen said, is to learn the lessons of history, and I believe strongly we are. There is no question that we will always remember this. We will never forget what happened here. That act of commemoration is personally important to me, but it comes with the full support of my government and of the British people. But I am absolutely determined, as indeed at the very top, two prime ministers are determined.